backwards by Kenya, and now they've made a change to balance the midfield again. I told you with the introduction of a third striker, they were relinquishing midfield to Kenya. They've realized that now Said Cheyune, the revelation of this tournament as far as the Prince is concerned, a newly capped player at this tournament, is taking Okwi's place, so they're going back to that 4 4 2 so they can re re regain that Forwards, control. You think they'd be attacking more instead instead they're being forced backwards by kenya and now they've made a change to balance the midfield again i told you with the introduction of a third striker they were relinquishing midfield to kenya they've realized that now said cheyune the revelation of this tournament as far as the prince is concerned a newly capped player at this tournament is taking up quiz place so they're going back to that 4 4 2 so they can re re regain that control of midfield which the harambe have taken from momentarily Oh, it's almost like Bobby Williamson texted you that. Get regained that control of midfield, which the Harambe had taken from it momentarily. Oh, it's almost like Bobby Williamson texted you. Time round, our lawyer successful in getting the ball away from that side. Mud with a goalkeeper already off his line, but that's a story for another time. It's the Grenza trying to get through there at a foul occasioned by a Tudo. Oh, this one's off the field of play. It's going to be a corner for uh, the Uganda Cranes. Uh, Jim Rabdala is doing well on that side, but uh, he needs support as well. He had already cut off Kiyune. Out of it totally. And he was in the mood again. So Uganda, actually now Robert Sentogo uh, uh, as the goal scoring hero taking over from Momoy. Mm -hmm. Equalizer, they have been pushing the issue in the second half. Uganda, despite bringing a third forward on and then changing uh, to bring fresh legs on in midfield with Saite Yune, really took a back seat there. And the Kenyans were going forward. Eventually, they. Oh, this one's off the field of play. It's going to be a corner for uh, the Uganda Cranes. Uh. Jim Rabdala is doing well on that side, but uh, he needs support as well. He had already cut off Kiyune. Out of it totally. Uh, I think it's going to be a very cautious as well. Quelly in the mud with the goalkeeper already off his line. But that's a story for another time. It's the Krenza. Trying to get through there at a foul. Occasioned by a Tudo Ed. Uh, the man called Humphrey Mieno had occasioned on uh, Said Kiyune. It's going to be a free kick for the current side. And uh, with that move, a little more of Vuzela sound has joined the air. Probably coming from this group of fans here who are in uh, a celebration mood. And they have been right since the time they came onto the field of play. Well, you can always separate the regulars from... Uh, the ones who come occasionally. <laughs> uh, Joaquin Zatino has been yellow carded in this one. For that tackle. Three men organizing how to take it. Four more just waiting on the line to see whether or not they will go for a rebound. Uh, a little bit of reorganization there. And a hot shot that gets onto the wall. He's got to be intimidated. And uh, the reason they brought him in was because they think he's a good goalkeeper. Oh, there's a strike now for you, Ari. Passenger. Comfortable with the save. And, well, nice to see both goals. This game as well as we approach the opening 10. Very hard shot. Now, you are looking slow. Now, transfer you are uh, They seem to be losing possession easily. And uh, for a home team, I expected them to have uh, more composure. And 
and uh, instead of going forward. So you, you, you must credit Munaba Alan for the way he's uh, contained. Maybe a chance coming up on the other side. The keeper is in loads of trouble here. It could have been punished, maybe should have been punished. And the only important second goal goes a begging for URA. And an early goal for them could make a world of difference in the second half. What's the keeper? Oh yes, and it can make a world of good for URA. It would have been if uh, Saeed Cheyune had just uh, breathed in a little bit and taken that shot without any rush. The only thing that came between them and possibly a goal was Yasin Mugabe between the sticks. He